Hi, this is Matt Demetrishman of Telemus Capital with the Week in Review for the week ending August 9th of 2019. Markets had a volatile week on concerns around growth, trade, yields, and currencies. Despite all these concerns, the S&P 500 was only down a half a percent on the week, with the Dow Jones Industrial Average falling 0.8%, the NASDAQ Composite declining 0.6%, and the Russell 2000 retrenching 1.3%. Within the S&P 500, six of the 11 economic sectors experienced decline, with energy and financials down the most. In contrast, there were five of the 11 economic sectors that experienced gains on the week, with utilities and consumer staples, two traditionally defensive sectors, leading the way. The markets got off to a rough start on the week, with the S&P 500 down 3% on Monday. The key driver was China's decision to let its currency, the yuan, fall below a seven yuan to one dollar exchange rate. The seven level was often viewed as the floor. China's decision to let the yuan go below seven prompted both President Trump and the Treasury Department to label China a currency manipulator. Markets recovered as the week went on, with a key driver being Tuesday's decision by China to, to push the yuan above a seven to one. In fixed income markets, it was also a volatile week with tre treasuries rallying and yields following, falling. There was also a slight flattening of the yield curve, particularly the spread between the two-year treasuries and 10-year treasuries as depicted on the slide here. Interest rates on two-year treasuries fell eight basis points on the week to close at 1.63%, while 10-year treasury yields fell 15 basis points to finish the week at a yield of 1.73%. This leads the spread between two-year and 10-year treasuries at 10 basis points. In other markets, the dollar fell a half a percent on the week and crude oil fell 2% around concerns of slower global growth and oversupply of excess crude. Gold had a very strong week, up 3.5% to close over $1,500 an ounce. For the year, gold is now up 14.9% just slightly below that of the S&P 500, which is up 16.4% year to date. Looking ahead to the coming week, there are two key indicators we will be watching, including industrial production, which is released on Thursday, and consumer sentiment, which comes out on Friday. That concludes the week in review for the week ending August 9th of 2019. Thank you and enjoy your week.